right, welcome back to the show. A special segment, Sports Stories. This is where we try and share some amazing stories of athletes who've overcome adversity, accomplished major things. And we got a great one here right now. Jeff Henderson, gold medalist, track and field. First one since 2004 from the Rio uh, Olympics. Good to have you on the show, man. Thanks for coming on. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. And you're still training. You, sh you were sore getting in that seat. And yes. so you, so you haven't gosh. finished yet, huh? No, that's training all year round. We stop around September. Then we start back up right around December or uh, late January. So it's training all the way through. So take us back. Give us like a, a runway of, uh, no pun intended, you do a long jump <laughs> yeah. runway. Uh, there you go. But uh, give us a, kind of a, a run up to the Olympics. Like, I mean, what, when did you get into this, the events that you've trained in, uh, and what it's like to actually train for Olympics? So, like, kind of give us the backstory on it all. Well, I started uh, when I was, of course, in, in college. I, I sprinted more than I did jumping. So um, I didn't jump a whole lot in college at all. I sprinted a lot more. So the coach came to me and asked me, do I want to do start jumping and sprinting? I was like, yeah, but I, I was broke. I have no money to get here because I'm from Arkansas. So he flew me out, and the first year, I would start training under him completely. Just Out here to San Diego? Yes, and um, that was back in 13. And uh, we used to change a lot of things on eating habits, living, and massage therapists. Everything to do with tea, like everything's really strict. It became much easier to just relax and just focus on one event. And once I did that, every year it got better and better and better. And up to Rio, it became just making a team, get a medal. I wasn't just focused on just, oh, I made an Olympic team. I wasn't just focused on that. I was focused just mostly just winning a gold medal. So what's interesting to me is, you know, you're a superior athlete, you're fast, you can jump, mm -hmm. but the training isn't just going out on the track and, and jumping all day long. I mean, no. you even just mentioned like massage therapy and things like that. So how do you mentally prepare for basically the biggest stage in all of sports in the Olympics? I mean, what are some of the things that go into the preparation mm -hmm. from physical training, mental training, uh, certainly nutritionally? Mm -hmm. What's that look like? Well, in between the Olympics and um, USA trials, and in between those years, they have meets in between. It's almost like the Olympics. Almost like it, but not really. They have a thing called IWF Diamond Leagues, and if you most likely win those or go to them, it's the same as going to the Olympics. Because you see the same people, the same athletes all the time, and the same coaches. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you keep, if you beat them, and keep the same thing, and don't overthink it, then you'll do good at the at the Olympic Games. So sometimes people, athletes, overthink things, think I have to do better than this. Yep. No, it's about doing the same thing what you did, what you when you kept on winning, when you did win at that time. How is the mental preparation for something like this? It's different. It's yeah. different. It's, it's most likely just, just to stay relaxed. I had, I had a uh, my my doctor there in my psych doctor, she always just said, Jeff, relax. Do the same things you did last time. This is the regular meet. Don't overthink it. Yep. And most time, athletes, they beat themselves up. Of course. And that's the one thing that messed you up completely. So you're, now you're long jump. Yeah. Is where you got the gold medal. Yeah. How long is it a run before you jump into the sand pit? For me, it take me 20 steps. 20, 20, so it's different. So the, the length is the same, but for you, it's 20 steps. 20 steps. What's going in through your mind when you step up to that line on the jump that you got the gold? Well, on the fifth jump, I knew I was going to win it on the fifth one because um, I was behind the board and I, I jumped 26, like five or seven. So I looked, so I, in my head, I'm like, all right, move back and I should be fine. It's just relax and relax. So I got on the runway and I'm thinking, all right, re relax, don't overthink it. Stride out, stand, stand tall, run off the board. And that's, that's what I did. And crushed it. Yeah. How many jumps do you think you do in a year? Last year. How much year, you train? Uh, last year, I probably jumped four times, including Rio in uh, trials. Four times? Four times. What'd you do the rest of the year? The rest of the year? Of, of that year? Just train. What's, so what does the training consist of, I guess is my question. Um, where Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is his weights. It, it varies from morning to the afternoons. It, in sessions, morning, afternoon. And sometimes we have two a days. It depends on what we're doing and what week is coming up during the time. So, so a lot of your trainers are having you not just focus on the sprint, the 20 steps, and the jump, but actual weight training, hitting the gym. Yeah. Uh, there, there are new advanced ways of doing things. I mean, exactly. 20 that years ago, is pump heavy weights, oh I'm sure God. it's all kinds of different, different you know, athletic type of things. So like, what's the, what are some things you're doing? Um, they have things where they, 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 they uh, see 
well, I check out sleep too, but that's one of the things they do now is uh, see how far can we, how fast can we run without losing no speed. So mm. that's, that's, that's the biggest thing of trying to get every jumper to do at the training center now. So how fast can you go without losing no speed, without hurting yourself, honestly? Sure. So most time what we do is we wear a weight vest on hills or, or um, you know, just running on weight vest because most time the weights is easier to compact when you have to try to jump far. So mm-hmm. it's, much, it's, it's much easier to do. Just add add layers of resistance exactly. so when you take it off. But 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 not too much. Right. You don't want to cause an injury. Exactly. So what's next for you? Um, well, this coming up next five, six months, we're going to London for uh, world, world championships. And of course, I was doing football before I did track. So it's like I had to go to Rio, win a, win a medal, then had to come back. American football? Yeah. What, what are you trying to do there? Well, actually, uh, before I went to Rio, I went to the Kansas City uh, tryouts. No kidding. Yeah, I did. I went to mini camp, and uh, they liked me, but I guess not good enough for me to come back after. And so I can come back after Rio. Wide receiver? Yeah. Wow. Kick, kick, kick off return. And after I did all that, I said, uh, the coach called me after I came back. He's like, uh, why bring it back next year? Because I was, I was gone too long. I was gone for two months. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's a long time to be out of American football. Not only that, injury. Yeah, as, I mean, talk about injury risk with those big boys. Oh, my God. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> you're, you're running for your life in that yeah, sport. Yeah, seriously, seriously. So it's, I, want, I, I still want to play because that's something I love doing. So it's like, after, after I went to go to murder, after I came back, I was like, how can I get into this? And uh, he was like, well, just wait, wait till next year. I was like, all right. I'm getting older, so it's like, come on, man. It's like, I want to play ball. I want to play football. Yeah, well, congratulations on all your success, man. you got a great story. If you could share uh, anything with upcoming athletes, guys that are trying to make it, what, what advice would you give? Because I'm sure that you've had some struggles and had to overcome yes. some adversities. Um, stay true to yourself. Um, always believe in yourself because that's all you have. Because uh, when I did, I bet a whole year or two years, honestly, I was broke, I didn't have any money, I didn't look, no one to look up to, and this coach, just, my coach kept telling me, just believe in yourself, keep doing what you're doing, it's gonna work out. And apparently it did, it took a while longer, but uh, just believe in yourself, that's all I can say. Last question, how did it feel to have a gold medal put on your neck? It felt all right. Did you cry? No. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cry, so it's, it's just, I was like, one to go on my neck, at first, really, I couldn't hear the, uh, no, the anthem, the, uh, but I was like, I, it felt like a normal day until afterwards. I you probably like, envisioned it enough times, huh? Oh, yeah. It's one song I hear all the time that played in the trials and Liberty Games. It's, it's a song of Black Eyed Peas, um, I Got a Feeling. If I hear that song, I remember that, all right, I'm going to go metal. Wow. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks. Thanks for sharing your story Thanks. on Support no Stories of the American Dream. Thank good you. luck with, uh, I know you're still competing out there, so yeah. good luck with everything. Thank and you. Uh, everything, I hope we can get you back on the show, man. Hey, I hope so.